potential energy all right now what is potential energy yesterday in my previous lecture we have discussed about kinetic energy energy possessed by the object when it is in motion that energy we call as potential uh, sorry kinetic energy the energy which is possessed by the object when it is in motion is called as kinetic energy and what is how can we uh, calculate that how much of energy is present in an object that can be calculated by the formula of kinetic energy is equal to 1 half of mv square in order to calculate kinetic energy that is we are having 1 half of mv square where m is the mass of the object and v is the velocity of the object there is the different type of energy one more type of energy which we are going to discuss about is what we call it as potential energy now what potential energy is the energy which is possessed by the object due to its position the energy which is possessed by the object due to its position or shape that energy we call as potential energy for example if i take an example of a brick which is lying on the ground when the brick is lying on the ground is it possible that it will do any work is it possible that it will hurt you if it is lying on the ground no it is not possible unless and until uh, you or somehow it does not come in motion if the brick is lying like this the duster is lying on my hand if the brick is lying like this right then what will happen for example you consider that my hand is ground and if the brick is lying on the ground it is not able to do any work so at this moment at ground level the potential energy possessed by the object it cannot do any work so it has no energy but if the same brick is uh, you can take uh, taken to the rooftop same brick having the same mass but if it is now taken on the rooftop and then it is allowed to fall down so what will happen now some work has been done while lifting this brick against the force of gravity right when for example if i am keeping this duster on the ground and then i am lifting this duster up for example if i am keeping the duster down and i am lifting this duster up some amount of work is done in lifting this duster against the force of gravity now this for this work gets stored in the duster in the form of potential energy the work which has been done in lifting this duster it has been stored in this duster once this duster comes in motion the potential energy in this duster will get converted into kinetic energy and it will do some work in the same manner i was asking you that when the brick was just lying on the ground it was not able to do any work because it does not have any energy at that time but when the same brick is taken to the rooftop some amount of work has been done in order to lift the brick once we lift the brick the energy is stored in the brick and then if we allow that brick to fall down 
it is going to create some undesirable effect like if it falls on the head of a person the person will get hurt or if uh, it is going to create the impact on the ground right man lo niche if the window pane is down at the bottom of the brick so what will happen if it falls on the window pane definitely it is going to break the window pane right now where has first of all when the uh, body was just lying on the floor on the earth it was having in the same manner you can uh, uh, understand through one more daily life example if you see a fan the ceiling fan which is there in your room at this moment god forbid god forbid if that ceiling fan falls on the head of someone what will happen the person will get hurt okay but if this if a box which contain the ceiling fan for example if i am having this box if i am having this box which contains the ceiling fan and it is kept on the head there is no problem in it why and the same fan with the same mass if it drops on my head from the ceiling then i will be hurt why what what happens although mass is same but what has changed there has been the change in the height there has been the change in the position of that fan when the fan was lying on my head no work was done so no energy was present on the no energy was present in the fan but when the same fan was on the ceiling so there was the change in the height now in order to lift the fan to the ceiling so that it can be fixed on the ceiling while lifting the fan to the ceiling so that some work has been done that work done has been stored in the fan so when it when the fan will fall down from the ceiling what will happen there will be an undesirable effect if it uh, falls on someone the someone is going to hurt here when it was at for example now this pen at this moment it's having zero potential energy why because it is at the for example if you consider my hand as ground if it it is at a ground level but once i lift this pen and then release it definitely there will be energy present in it now here at this position but when it comes in motion that will be called as kinetic energy but at this position the energy possessed by the object is known as potential energy how it has gained the same pen how it has gained the energy while lifting the pen i have done some work and that work then has been stored in this pen due to the change in the position because first of all it was at this height then it went up to this height so you can yourself see that there is the change in the position of the object and the energy possessed by the object due to the change in the position due to the position is called as potential energy right so this we call as potential energy gravitational potential energy the energy of the pen which is lying now at a particular place above the ground level you can see is known as 
gravitational potential energy because it has acquired it has been acquired by doing the work against the, because the energy which has been acquired by the object it has been acquired by doing work against gravity i hope this much uh, will be clear to you again i want to once again i will like to explain the same concept to you so that you can understand it properly for example i have told you when the brick or when the stone or when the fan was lying at the ground level this is ground level right what happens the energy possessed by the object is the energy due to position is zero right because it is not going to do any work it at this moment it is not doing any work so the energy possessed by the object at the ground level is zero but when the same brick i will take it to the rooftop this is rooftop when the same brick or fan is at the rooftop what happens we are doing some work in lifting the object upwards we are doing some work in lifting the object against the gravity upwards so that work done is stored in the object that work is stored in the object so the energy which is being present in the object due to the change in the position we call it as potential energy i have told you that at if the brick is at the ground level it is not going to hurt for example if i uh, if a uh, boy keeps the head, uh, keeps the brick on the head right it is not going to hurt him or her but when the same brick having the same mass is taken on the rooftop and dropped from the rooftop it's going to hurt why because the energy has been stored in the object and that energy has is the work done by the object against the gravity so this is known as gravitational potential energy right now we are having one more type of en uh, potential energy that we call as elastic potential energy what we call it as elastic potential energy for example if you are having a rubber band or catapulate have you gulel ka naam suna hai okay you must be familiar with the gulel or catapulate or a rubber band right once we stretch the rubber band and then release it what will happen the rubber band the energy will be stored in the rubber band and that energy which has been stored in the rubber band that is called as elastic potential energy hope you must have understood that is the energy which is possessed by the object due to the change in the shape due to the change in the shape in the same manner for example if you are having the catapulate all right catapulate is like this that you are having your y shape and then it is fixed with a rubber band here it's just like this this type of toy is it catapulate jisko hum hindi mein gulel kehte hain what is there there is a v shape uh, structure v shape structure then this v shape structure there is the presence of a rubber band rubber band type right rubber which can be stretch now if somebody has to aim a tree aim the mango which is present on the tree all right what will happen once we put the 
pebble in this catapult and stretch the catapult there is the change in the shape there is the change in the shape of the catapult because of the change the work has been done in changing the shape because of that change in shape the energy has been stored and uh, due to the change in the shape okay the energy is transferred to it and which is stored in the form of potential uh, so which is stored in the form of potential energy once we release once we release the stone what will happen the energy which was there in the form of potential energy once it comes in motion it will convert into kinetic energy and hit the mango and mango is going to fall down in the same manner if you are well versed with the bow and arrow you may not have seen the catapult or maybe someone has seen the catapult i may not generalize it you all must have seen a bow there is the archery also archery is a sports also where a person is asked to throw the uh, to throw the bow sorry not bow to throw the arrow point the arrow right now what happens if the archer has to aim the arrow at a particular place what the archer is going to do the archer is going to stretch the bow the string which is attached with the bow this is bow and this is string once and this is arrow okay the archer has to aim the arrow at a particular target right now what will happen there will be the archer will stretch it backwards archer will pull the string backwards once it pulls the string backwards what is stored in it there has been change in the shape right and potential energy gets stored in it due to the change in the shape the work has been done some work has been done to stretch it right once the archer releases it the potential energy gets converted into kinetic energy and the arrow gets arrow uh, then moves away and thus reaches to its target so this type of energy which is due to the change in the shape we call it as elastic potential energy the work gets stored in the deformed body in this deformed string in the form of elastic potential energy right so i hope you must have been able to understand that the potential energy of an object the energy possessed by the object because of change in position or change in shape is known as potential energy right so how can now we uh, find out the what is put formula to of potential energy the formula to calculate the potential energy is m g h where m is okay how can we come to this conclusion that potential energy is m g h how come we came to this conclusion that potential energy is equal to um, mgh now let me tell you work has been done you know that work is done when the object comes in motion okay but that work done in the for example that work done in this duster has been stored because uh, the work done has been stored the energy uh, has been stored in this duster because of the change in of the position now some force has been applied while lifting this duster upwards so when we lift the duster upwards some work has been done so that work done is f into s right 
but according to second law of motion what is f equal to f is equal to m into a what is this a acceleration due to this is acceleration but here what is involved is the acceleration is involved but it has been with reference to gravity so what we call this acceleration as acceleration due to gravity and we represent it by small g and here the vertical distance has been covered once the vertical distance is covered it is called as height so work done which is present which has been stored in this duster is equal to potential energy and the potential energy can be calculated by the formula mgh where m is mass of the body g is acceleration due to gravity and height h means height of the body above the reference point height of the body change above the reference point with, where from the change has been taken place 